it's a good day guys welcome to today's lesson today's lesson we are going to be doing the time to select advanced concrete designer to so give it a little time for it to load this So it has done that now the next thing we are going to do is we are going to be designing some of our elements so let's start with beam and let me design the first beam which is side beam select it and project has brought in our parameters and we can see g1 is this is g2 this is g3 this is g4 this is five this is six, seven and so on and so on what we'll do now is we'll go to settings general and we'll go to set this thing so let's ignore torsion we'll put the value of one thousand okay select it Okay, so after putting the torsion as 1000, if you want doctor detailing for seismic resistance structure, and select this and choose the parameter you want. For this, I will ignore it and use flange beam, all beams, okay, to set all these parameters. So my concrete, I want to use steel, I want to use this. You can decide to use anything lower than this, you just add it and you define you want you can define your grid here so so for my cover i want to use 25 and my maximum aggregate i want to use 20. the main steel i want to use 12 my maximum 25 this here i want to use minimum 8 maximum 10 the side face reinforcement 12 and 12. The spacing round drop i want to that every 25 25 millimeter and I'll choose different rebar for outer and inner steel box. So click the key. Once we are done with that, go to settings and we are going to talk about the rebar curtailment. Is what we have. So you can leave it as OK or set it to your taste. Detailing, I want to use my cantilever as 2.5. Then center to center, you can choose all these. What I want support center. And choose my curtailment to 25. My manager, I want it to be H. I want to use H or Y or T, whichever one you want. I want H. Go to settings and go to preferred bar spacing. So now we can see that for our width of 230, if we are using less than 16 mm and put three bars there, we have 16 millimeter center to center. But that will be too much, so we can put four or if we put four, you see that the spacing will reduce. If we put five, it also reduce. So anything above five, not allow our concrete going. So see if I put six, it gives me a warning sign. And for twenty, four, is okay. If I put five, the same thing that will happen. I will click OK and change it to four. So next thing is basic load cases. Head load. And the live load bring them in click ok now uh, we have the analysis so you want to bring the load combination so we bring it from the analysis that's from start to click ok and let's start our design auto design now uh, because we chose it as flange telling us to put the thickness of our flange i remember in the previous video i said i'm going to make all my slabs 200 now that i can make this one 200 alone Problem is, if I make it 200 here, I can decide to make this one 175, 150, 125, 170, whatever thickness I want. There's no law stopping me. Just to make my analysis easy for me, but I've missed that it's going to be too complex. I need to change. I just decided to make everything 100. I just round it. But in most cases, from the design I've done, I know that 150 will suffice for this project. Just make it easy for them to get all through. And 
these dots. Okay, so we are done with that. What we design now? So let's give it to design. You can see it uh, being let's say G1, B1, and the size is 230 by 750. That's the material bottom you need for each tool. You can see you need nominal reinforcement because it's not really carrying any up on the upper as the slab rather. There's no block also, it's not really carrying any. So we are literally done with that. Now, in the report, if you want to bring out the drawing, you can come to the report. Elevation and section. Let's say we want to bring out sheet. Something simple. I can bring out cross section and show section mark. You can bring out anchorage if you want. Okay. Yeah. See. Now we can see a uh, beam. See. So this is the shear wall. This is the beam. This is the property. This is the beam is going to rest on. It's resting on another beam. B32, B. Resting on beam B32, you can see 4H12, 4H12, it's a return inside, it should return by 446 inside, and the should under and courage of 446 here, 446 here, you can see the section, everything. So if you want to bring out the calculation sheet for this particular level, Come to report and we have design summary and we have design calculation. If I select design summary now, what will happen? That brings out design summary. You can see for B1, group number G1, reference number because it has zero meter. So this is numbers. So you can see the weight has been meshed already. You can see the breadth, the depth, depth of flange. Bit of flange, concrete grade, all of these. So straight here, moment MU, then we have PT critical percentage, area of steel calculate, area of steel calculated, area of steel provided, and so on and so we can just continue down with it for all bins. So this is the summary. But if you want a very detailed output, so let's say for example, I want to bring out detailed design for just Group two, I click here. Now it starts with the name of the projects and everything. After that, brings you all these parameters and defines it for you. After defining it, gives you where you can check in your code. So this is our things in your code. The code references and more references here again. Add these parameters straight down. I'll give it critical load combination. For the middle, we are using 102, 102. At the left, beam top, we are using 103. Nothing at this for the beam one, okay? So you can see critical for RCDC, 445. It's load, but it has created a combination the way we arranged it inside. Then, you can see the MU. See, you can see the MU over MBD square. And see the can that giving you area still required, area still provided. A good to go. We have no issue. So just continue going down. This is for two. After you're done with that, next thing is for the shear design. You check it to your shear design. Then maximum spacing, it will do it for you automatically. And transverse spacing. Hence, side phase reinforcement required. So after doing that, you can generate the bar bending schedule. So come here, generate it. Let's say I want to generate for only G2. So set your parameters, set this, set this. So I don't want it to be a spreadsheet. So I'll select it as drawing and just generate it. And see it. You bring out the drawing, bar bending schedule. This is the summary. Same thing I can do for all others. So thank you for watching today's video on beam. The next video we are going to be doing the first floor beam.